kid, never in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine that this day would come. Well, this sounds serious. I mean, I never set out to be edgy or controversial. Ooh, I smell trouble. That's just my cologne. But as a good storyteller, it is my duty to warn you that today's book is full of... What, what is it? Bats? Is it monsters? Is it screaming? It's nudity. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> and also poison. <laughs> I'm in. On the other hand, if you're a nature lover, the underwater views are... So, are you feeling bold? Shall we dive in? In three, two, one, splash! Nudie Gill, Poison Powerhouse of the Sea. And I think the title already says so much. Bloop, 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 bloop. Nudie Gill, Nudie Gill. I can't believe that I'm doing a story with somebody who's nude. Here we go. Check it out! All the gear it takes to become a fish. A flotation device, fins, a life vest, a snorkel, a mask. Oh yeah, when you're a human, you need a lot of stuff to be able to go underwater like a fish. And there she goes, splash! Yikes, watch out! Oops, sorry, I didn't see you. Da, da, da! And there it is, the tiny, tiny creature at the center of the book's controversy. Whoa! What are you? My name is Gil. I'm a nudibranch. Wow, that's a guy? But wait a minute, that looks like nudie branch. <laughs> nudie branch! I know, it does look like nudie branch, but it's not. It is nudibranch. Nudie Brank? No, Brank like crank. Nudie Brank? Never heard of it. Well, because we're not marine biologists, we did not know about the Nudie Brank until we were today years old. But maybe you've heard of it by one of its other names. Like what? Well, it also goes by soft bodied gastropod marine mollusk. That doesn't ring any bells. How about marine snail? Getting warmer. Okay, maybe you've heard of it called a sea slug. Okay, we're gonna have to settle on that. Sea slug, right? Marine snail or nudibranch. Got it? Not nudie branch. Although that's a lot more fun to say. I am flashy. I am fancy. I am naked. Woohoo! Well, I really admire his confidence. Oh yes, because Gil's not just a water snail. Oh no. Gil's a free spirit. The clam wears a shell. So does the sea snail. Hi. The nautilus, a shell. Hi there. Those look safe. Why don't you use a shell, Gil? Yeah, I mean, all the other mollusks are nice and protected in their hard shells, but this daredevil is just going out there like that. I need to be free. I need to be free! Snap, sloop. Everybody else closes up shop, and wow, he's really free. He almost swam off the page. <laughs> You're so colorful! I am what I eat. Munch, munch, crunch, crunch. As you notice, he's having a bit of a snack right there. Underwater bright colors warn creatures of poison. And remember what the title said? This guy right here, Nudie Gill, is a poison yes. powerhouse of the sea. Now the clams nibble algae. Nom, 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 nom. The sea snail prefers microplankton. Yum! The nautilus chomps on crustaceans. I devour deadly poisonous creatures. <laughs> like the jellyfish, the sea anemone the sea sponge, or the fire coral. <laughs> I need to learn your ways, nudie Gill. <laughs> You're tough, Gill. Oh, they only make me stronger. Now, you, you wouldn't hurt me, right? 
Maybe not. But I have to defend myself somehow. I am naked, after all. <laughs> Nudibranchs consume poison, absorbing it into their flesh. And predators that try to eat them get a nasty sting. Watch out, Gil! Zap, zing! I'm a fierce poison powerhouse! You got zapped! <laughs> now that's what I call a fish fry. Are those your stingers? No, those are my gills. Yep, I'm a bottom breather. Blop, 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 blop. Now, fun fact, fuchsia fish. I knew you would show up in our underwater story. Of course, I have side gills. So I'm what you call a side breather. Is that a technical term? No. Blop, 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 blop. Well, nudie gill just keeps getting more and more interesting. Like Fuchsia Fish said, her gills are on the side where fish breathe, you know, like this, but not gill, no. Bottom breather. Other types of nudibranchs breathe through serrata instead of gills. Oh, so much complexity in these little creatures. Weird. You have no idea. Check out my friends. Oh, they're friends. <gasps> oh, look at this explosion of color and Nudity! There are over 3,000 different kinds of nudibranchs. They are found in every ocean throughout the world. Blop, 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 blop. I once met a whole family of nudibranchs in the Bronx. Nudibranchs in the Bronx? Nudibranchs in the Bronx! They're so wild and crazy! Blop, 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 blop. And they get around every ocean throughout the world. And look at Gil just chillaxing on his, well, on his gills. <gasps> they look like beautiful rainbows. Really? I can't see colors. No? Nudibranchs have eye spots that don't see the way we do. These simple eyes only sense light and dark. Do you think I'm missing out on anything? Well, a rainbow of colors that your friends are all wearing. I've got something you don't. Well... Poison, for example? Look at my rhinophores! And right here, these are the rhinophores. I use them to sense smells. Rhino means nose, you know. Are you telling me that his horns are really his nose? Yes, no, no, they're not horns. They're horns, they're not horns. They're his nose, he just said so. You're confusing me. You're confusing me! And now I need a rhinoceros. It's not a rhinoceros, it's a... Not a rhinoceros, it's a rhinophore. And rhino does mean nose. In fact, when, when human beings, uh, probably like you and me, if, if they were to have a surgery to change their nose, it's called rhinoplasty because rhino means nose. And there he goes, nose. This guy, he's full of surprises. Nice to smell you again, the rhinophores not only sense odors, they can also detect vibrations and changes in water pressure. You want to see something neat? Boy, do I ever! This guy's just full of surprises! I know. Is that, is that a flower? This is my egg ribbon. I have one million babies in there. That's a lot of babies. One million! Every nudibranch can create and fertilize eggs, but they can't fertilize their own eggs. Wow, Gil, you are so cool. Oh, gosh. Scientists are studying nudibranchs for all kinds of reasons, like these tiny creatures could help us find cures or produce medicine for memory disorders, neurological diseases, and cancer. Kid, this is mind-blowing stuff. This tiny little naked creature under the sea could hold cures for all kinds of, of things that affect human beings, oh, like, like neurological diseases. That's a very gigantic fancy word that means things that happen to people's brains that makes them a little bit sick. Can you imagine curing brain diseases, memory problems, cancer? Powerhouse. The Nautilus is a living fossil. Its relatives existed before dinosaurs. Roar. The sea snail is part of the ocean's cleanup crew. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Clean up in aisle 11. 
clams make delicious chowder. Wait, I am a tiny miracle. Oh. Wow, I wish I could make a difference like you. You can tell people not to harm the reef. Oh, Gil's house, of course. Down here, everything lives in harmony. Coral, as in the coral reef, is a living animal too. It takes a whole year for many corals to grow just one centimeter. And oils from human skin can damage them. Ew, that's right, you're oily. Okay, I'm not oily, but all of us, we don't even know it, but even when we wash our hands, there are natural oils in our skin that are good for us, but not so good for the coral reef. Do you want to come home with me? No can do. I need to stay wild and free. Nudibranchs don't live long in captivity because, as he previously said, I need to be free. I need to be free. Oh, you don't need this. I'll put it where it belongs. Oh, good job, kid, picking up that garbage, which is only going to mess up his house. I, I can learn to live in harmony, too. Thanks. I like having a big friend. The ocean is teeming with mysteries to discover. Some small, some large, and some naked. Oh, Gil, such a free spirit. But now that we're all marine biologists, I have something else that I want to show you. Nudie Gill. His name, right? Well, nudigil equals nudibranch. Watch this. Nudie means naked. And brank means gill, where he breathes from. So the name all along said who this guy was all along. And he's a colorful and free-spirited creature of the sea. And his philosophy is no shell. No problem. I like the poison part. I like the part where we're all now marine biologists, basically. Bloop, 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 bloop. Should we tell her? What, that we're naked too? Yes. I don't know. I think she's had enough controversy for one day. I'm still here. Oh, awkward. Whoopsies. Well, it seems that we were today years old when we all learned that Kid Time Story Time is apparently full of nudie Free spirits.